Uh, Caller from area code 925. State your name, please. Uh, my name is uh, Ajibola. Or, uh, AJ is what folks call me. Hey, how you doing, AJ? How you feeling tonight? Pretty good, pretty good. What's uh, what's 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 the story? What's the deal? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm great. Beautiful night. I'm calling from uh, the Bay Area, California. You know, center of that soil. Ebody. Ooh. That sounds very good. That sounds very. I good. love the Bay Area. I love the Bay Area. We're actually discussing uh, chivalry. Do we need it? Chivalry. That's uh, honestly, I think um, chivalry is definitely important. But here's the problem that we have right now, right? I mean, you've got right, these right. ladies. You have a lot of these ladies right now, who are, right. you know, they all they want they, they they want equality. They want to break the glass ceiling. You know what I mean? They want they don't want special treat. They want they don't want special treatment, but they want special treatment. You know what I mean? They want they want the doors <laughs> open. They want us to save their lives, right? But you know, but when it comes to stuff that we want, you know, like a less competitive job market, <laughs> that's a joke. But I mean, but I, I think that um, we're not going to get full equality until chivalry is gone. So you got to ask yourself the question: Do you want full equality, or you know, you know what I'm saying? I like a full equality, so I'm a, I'm in favor for uh, getting rid of chivalry. But um, what you're you're saying is. Uh, uh, Chivalry does need to die completely. Well, no, I'm saying that there's a double standard. I'm making an observation of a double standard. I personally believe that chivalry is important. I think that you know that's just the way my mother raised me. You know, but um, you know, with this the the the, the modern uh, you know lean forward. I don't know if you read the book. You know, it's that's not that's not something that they're interested in necessarily, and I, you, you're not going to get. Uh, gender equality, as long as you keep having these old world societal norms where uh, men have to cower to uh, to women's choices, uh, to women's preferences, you know, pulling out the table, saying thank you to man, opening the door, walking on the inside of the street, things of that nature, or inside of the sidewalk. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. This is my take. Right. Well, what do you think about Valentine's Day in general? What do I think about what? Valentine's Day. That's the day for uh, chivalry. I mean, the greatest day for chivalry, apparently. Well, In yeah. I mean, the man's, ex- the man's expected to do everything. You know what I mean? It's the most expensive holiday exclusively for men. Uh, after Mother's Day. <laughs> you, you know. Are you <laughs> Uh, what, well, do you disagree? Does the lady in the room disagree? Yeah, I fucking disagree. Well, somebody disagrees with me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I mean, have I, a host and he wanted me to call her. But, yeah. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Yeah, I'll let you talk to You said your husband. Go ahead. Talk to me. No, I mean... I just want to say, you know, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, we we gotta buy chocolate, we gotta buy candy, we gotta buy flowers. Heaven forbid yes. we forget the day. We're not we're not gonna get that thing for another year. Seriously, why? why do you have to buy that? I don't know because that's what you ladies want. I mean, I didn't. No, I don't make the rules. No. Tell your lady that it's the middle of holiday. It's fucked up. I'll tell her that. I think exactly how it comes. Okay, you want to know what to do for Valentine's Day? Seriously, you want to get a good Valentine's Day gift? Yes. Yeah, tell me, I do. What, what, what's the trick to a good Valentine's Day? Okay, you don't gotta spend any money. You make her a personalized card that you made yourself. You buy her some flowers and you compliment her. All right. First of all, women stopped taking personalized cards for me in 1994 when I left the fifth grade. All right. Um, when I was thinking about a paper mache. My mom was the last person to accept a uh, personalized card made with macaroni and uh, uh, and colored you, pencils. You see him and I. Hi. But I, I'll say this: if I tell my girl that I'm going home, I'm gonna print out a card for Microsoft Word. She, I, you know what's gonna yeah, happen? That's a good way to get slapped that. in the mouth. That's a good way to just slap no. in the mouth. No. no, I'm saying fucking get some cardboard, some paper mache, some 
fucking colored paper and make her a Valentine's Day card that actually has some fucking meaning. They just put a picture of the two of you on there. You know, something special. She don't want a picture with me in her out there. I'm too ugly for the photos. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to advertise that for the world. I'll tell you. Okay. I'll tell, I'll tell, you know what? You know, now you're just being difficult. I mean, honestly, I, I, I wish, I, I wish what you were saying was true. I really do. But I mean, I don't. True. I mean, you are a special know, one. Because what girls want, girls don't actually care about all that shit. What they want, they want attention. They want to know that someone, for at least one day, saw it just of them. That's what they want. That right there. I mean, that's what they say. But, you know, as we all know, Mike, you still on the line? <laughs> As we all know, what women say and what they mean are not synonymous. They say they don't want nothing, but let me show up with a bunch of rose petals. And they're going to say, where's the gift at? Thank you. No, no, no. Listen, okay, this is what you're going to do, right? Okay. Okay, you tell me. I want Give me instructions, step by step. Sure. Okay, first you're going to make that card. You're going to actually get some of that colored paper, you know, the stuff the kids use in grade school. I'll, I'll stop you know by Michaels with all the girls, with, the, with all the guys with the skinny jeans and and the and the single women. I go to no, Michaels. No, no, the colored paper, and you're gonna, you know, take some different colored paper, and you're gonna glue it together. Maybe with some sparkles, maybe you know, whatever. Is you're, gonna, you're gonna put a fucking sure. picture of yourself. Wait, 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 wait! For the card, for the card, will I need glue sticks and uh, dry macaroni? I wouldn't need dried macaroni. I mean, that's kind of fucked up or anything. Popsicle sticks, perhaps? You think I'm joking? Dude, I'm giving you the recipe to a, the best Valentine's Day you've ever had. I mean, the best Valentine's Day I ever had would involve, you know, a little bit okay. more than, uh, than glue sticks and macaroni. Then you spend all the money you want, and you keep enjoying doing that. You go ahead and consume, 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 because that's what they want you to do. So all she cares about is the special important to you. Hey, well, hey, it's great. I'm I'm so glad I got a, a female perspective on this. So I'm gonna put it in practice. And if I get a, if I get a busted lip, it's slapped in the mouth by this girl for giving her a homemade card. Arts and crafts class, then I'm coming to you. I'm blaming you. Go ahead. Go ahead. But if you do it right, you won't. Because what you do after you make that card is you put rose petals along the bedroom floor on the bed. You light some candles. Rose, and make who's going to sweep that up? Who's going to sweep that up? You are. Do you know how much roses cost? See, that's the other thing. Hey. Mike, that's another thing women don't understand. They think roses grow on trees. Dude. Roses dude, are like 50 you bucks. You go to a grocery store. You go to a fucking grocery store and you get a fucking rose petals in a box. They're fucking cheap as fucking hell. Rose petals in a box? Yeah. That's it. They're just petals. Get out of here. They're not the whole house. You just get the petals. So are you talking about potpourri? Because I can sprinkle purple on the ground. No, I'm talking about rose petals, dude. If you don't know the difference, maybe this is a bad move for you to even try. So maybe you should just go with the card and a bubble bath with candles and movies. I can do that. I can definitely do and bubble bath. Her, movies. And then you tell her that you are willing to do whatever she wants for the rest of the night. And you actually do it. Well, you said I have to actually do it. Now you took this thing to a whole nother level. Yeah. You took this thing to a whole okay. nother level because I'm not, I'm not massaging no toes. You ain't see my girl's feet. Dude, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you how to make your girls Valentine's Day the best day ever, and have you spend the least money you've ever spent in your life for Valentine's Day on bed. 
for it. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. All right? February 14th? It's, it's February 14th, right? That's the date? I don't know what date it is. Yeah, I don't it's February 14th. Celebrate. Oh, you don't know, but let me forget. Slap in the mouth. That's what I get. A slap in the mouth. Then you get that. Let me forget. Okay. When so you now, what do you do? What do you do for your man for Valentine's Day? Since it's about celebrating your love, and it's not just about okay. you know me doing stuff for females. What do you do for your man? Nothing. First. Nothing. First, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's, I don't know if you were listening earlier, but uh, I haven't celebrated Valentine's Day in so many years. I don't remember the last Valentine's Day I celebrated. Is that because you ain't got a man? No, I've had plenty, man. I got one now. Plenty? Yeah, I've been, I've had none for the years. What, is that a problem? I, hey, you said it, not me. I didn't say anything. I was just saying, you said plenty. I just quoted you, plenty. No, you said plenty? Like, oh my hey. God, plenty? Shit. Hey, you said it. You said it, not me. I, I mean, if, no. you have, you're the one with plenty of men. I'm not, I don't got a problem with men like Okay. That's, that's, good. that's good to hear. That's good to hear. When you make the cards, actually put things on it that matter. You could be just glue shit together. You're probably going to get that bus to take that bus and up. I mean, you actually know when you that you got to have you know, I mean, if you've got a girl, you've got a girl, you've got these feelings, right? right? You have to delve into them, and you have to have these feelings when you go out, and you have to make you some of the happiest memories you've ever spent with us. Maybe some of the happiest memories. Yeah. Well, all the happiest memories I've spent with her involve her being booty butt naked. <laughs> Dude. That's, that's it, all of them. Seriously. Then no socks on. Period. You're such a loser. Sorry. Bye. Hey. Loser. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I can't be one of your plenty of men. I didn't make the cut. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't because, I mean, there's more to a woman than that. And if you can't find that out of your own woman, then you're probably better off buying jewelry. That's 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 a little bit of a burn. A little bit of a burn there, but that's cool. It might be, but that's what you said. You said the only happy, pleasant memories you have are having sex. So, I mean, if that's all you've got, then oh, I, I said, I said she was butt naked. We watch movies butt naked too. You know what I'm saying? She sometimes she cooks butt naked. She makes sandwiches uh-huh. booty butt naked. You know what I mean? Really? So she make and she make a mean Is sandwich. That really? Is that really what you were talking about? I mean, you know what? You're the one with plenty of men keep bringing up sexual conversations. I mean, obviously, I could take some lessons from you in that department, maybe, you know? You probably could. With your wealth of experience. I am. And a wealth of experience. But I was to myself. I have my own show. You should listen in from some life lessons and exchange content. This is great. This is great. Next next time we're discussing actually relationships, so it'd be a great time for you to call in. That it would. That it would. All right. Hey, it's been great talking to you folks. I got to go now. It's been great talking to you folks. I have to go now. Uh, have a blessed wait, 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 evening. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. I need, I need, there's another call. I think one of the calls. I think, I think you guys need to talk for a little bit. At least for two minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll uh, call it. Go ahead. Not still nine. You can talk. I can, we can hear you if you talk. Hello? 909486. Who's that? Who, who's on the line? Hello, caller. Are you there? Whoever well, calls sounds like a female to me. Sounds like a female uh, or a dude that sounds like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can fuck right off, man. Because that was me that just said that. 
Okay. No, no, you say you you sound very beautiful. You sound very beautiful and very available. I'm not be I I I'm cute, not beautiful, and I'm not available. I'm currently taken. Oh man! All right, I'll call back next week. <laughs> It depends on what you look like, what you do, and if you're actually in a relationship that's uh, monogamous and do monogamous. I only do. You don't, oh, see, I you don't do monogamous. No, I don't. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna give you my number, um, and uh, I send some video. If you can send me if some I video can. tapes. So aren't you my friend? <laughs> yes. You realize that he's we- one of the guys that I, you know. Say it again. He's like the boyfriend guy, right? Yeah, me and Mike, we go back. We Eiffel towered some uh, some beautiful ladies a few months ago. Yeah, that's why uh, Valentine's Day. Guess, guess what my plans are? You said what? Nothing. It was uh, it was us and this white woman. It looked like an Oreo cookie. That, well. That's a joke, kind of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a joke, kind of. Kind of, yeah. I, think, uh, I think it wasn't probably a very good joke. It was kind of, you know. There you I go. I kind of think racial jokes are still so present. Racial jokes are still so present. So how do you know Mike? How how do I know him? How do you know this man? I don't really. Legitimate question. I know this man extremely intimately. You what? I know this man extremely intimately. Yeah, right. I know him well enough to know that he doesn't tell the truth most of the time. I think, I, think he's a, I think he's a good person, actually, at heart. I think he wants to be a good dad. I respect that. He's fucking phenomenal in bed. And we all Who, Mike? Yeah. I know, I yeah, seen him in action. It. It, was, it was very weird. <laughs> Well, I mean, you did ask how I knew him. So. Yeah. Thankfully, in my life, I found several people who have been I feel very lucky. So. All right. Well, hey, it's been, like I said, it's been great calling in. I have to go. I'm actually, I'm actually on the freeway right now. I'm about to pass. I'm about to cross the uh, the Bay Bridge. <clears throat> so yep. I'm in the town, right? All right. So, hey. Great, great calling, great talking to all you folks. I love to call in the guys another time. All right. Have a have a blessed evening. You too. Have a blessed evening, and uh, remember to buy that jewelry because the cards are probably not in the right place. All right. I don't think you can make it.